Are you ready? Yep. It's just, there's all this pressure, you know? And sometimes it feels like it's right up on me and I can just feel it, like literally feel it in my head and it's relentless and I don't know if it's gonna stop. I mean, that's the thing that scares me the most is that I don't know if it's ever gonna stop. Yeah. Well, you do have a nail in your head. It is not about the nail. Are you sure? Because, I mean, I'll bet if we got that out of there. Stop nail... trying to fix it. No, I'm not trying to fix it. I'm just pointing out that maybe the nail is causing- You always do this. You always try to fix things when what I really need is for you to just listen. No, see, I don't think that is what you need. I think what you need is to get the nail See, out. you're not even listening now. Okay, fine. I will listen. Fine. It's just... Sometimes it's like... There's this achy... I don't know what it is. And I'm not sleeping very well at all. And all my sweaters are snagged. I mean, all of them. <laughs> That sounds really hard. It is. Thank you. Ow! Oh, 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 come on! Ow. If you would just don't try to see things my way. Do I have to keep on what do you think about that one? That was a good one. I think it's funny that the girl's the one portrayed with the issue that's so obvious to fix. And oh, that the guy's really the one the who's being there who so the meek and mild. Like, nope. oh, I can help you fix your problem. The whole point is that she you didn't want to You crazy lunatic get... woman with the problem. She didn't want to get it fixed. She just wanted to process. I know. That's funny. We want to welcome everybody here today. Obviously, we're talking about effective communication. This is session four of It Takes Two. We're excited that you're here with us today. Yes. Yes. So you guys have had a lot of years of experience. Uh, you're about 26, 27 years into marriage. Y'all weren't sure. 26. That was. Okay, 26. for sure it's 26. Yeah, for sure. But then you had a number of years dating before that. How many years? Four. Was that? Yeah. Okay, so, so 30 years. So 30 years. Yeah. What are some things that you guys have recognized in learning how to set the tone or kind of the platform for effective communication? Um, I think for me, like when I'm talking about something, I, he tries to, I, I get frustrated because he always wants to fix it and solve it really fast. Like, get to the main part of the story and just fix the problem and then we're done. We can move on from so this you, very stressful conversation that I'm initiating. Are you acknowledging that you're the lady with the nail in her head then with that? Uh, I'm not the lady with the nail in my head. I'm the lady who likes to talk a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so this is really like gold, what I'm about to say right here. Okay. It could change... A major part of your marriage. I'm, I'm on this. nervous. You ready? Because of the look on your no, face. No, right this now. is genius. I know he's so excited. I've just learned this in the last year. In 26 years of marriage, I just learned something that's gold, and that is that anytime she, when she starts wanting to talk to me about something, I'll say at the beginning. So, do you want me to just listen, or do you want me to fix this? I mean, like, am I engaging in this to talk about it? Or do you want me to just listen? Now, here's what's important. And the answer could be different every time. <laughs> exactly, because that's what I was about to say. Sometimes she doesn't even know what she wants mm -hmm. on it. And unless I do that, then it can be, if I do try to fix it, then she's like, why are you trying to fix it? And then if I don't, then she's like, why aren't you saying anything? Do you not like even care? Like that? Yeah, I don't like talking to myself. So for us, it's my job at the beginning of our conversation when she's talking to me, to define and help define what do you want right now? Because then she has to even decide which does she want. And then I can respond in kind and it saves how many times you get off on the rabbit trail of whether you wanted me to fix it or not fix it, that whole thing that happened with the nail deal, where it really has mm -hmm. to do with you just need to communicate on what do you want from this right now. Yeah. Isn't that gold? I love it. Well, what's Okay, so that's something finally after 26 years you recognize this is a tool that we can use that's helping us. Uh, have you ever had something that you tried that didn't work very well? So what's, what's something that you can remember you guys tried? Because y'all read a lot, you, you listen to material, you guys have been around marriage conferences and, and development stuff for a long time. What's something that you tried that, that just didn't work for you guys? Um, I would think timing of conversations. We've definitely learned that those are a big deal. Like, you know, when we try to have big discussions, 
Like I know not to have any sort of discussion with him on a Sunday because that's just not going to end up being productive. He's too tired and too drained from the day. And but I've I've tried that multiple times and learned that was a big mistake. What? How did you know that it was a big mistake? Uh, because it ended up in a pretty big argument because I was insulted that he didn't give a rip about what I was saying. I can't process. And the thing is. What's so funny about it is even when you learn a, a skill or you learn a, 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 a t- have a tool, you're not always using it and you're not always thinking about it. It's that because we're just so built with the emotional feelings of what we need or what's going on that it's a constant working on being sensitive to the other person. Mm-hmm. So even on that, we still have, like even in the last few months, had it where things went bad on a Sunday after church. Now, this isn't like, dude, how can you be so holy on Sunday and then you're a jerk later? No. It's that I'm exhausted. I've been up since 5.30 praying in the middle of it, meeting and ministering to people, which I'm not trying to put all my problems <laughs> on our guys sitting here, but it's just not the timing. Just like I would say, not just with her, my staff. My staff knows, don't bring me something you want to talk to me about right before I'm about to go out and preach. That's not a good timing, you know to be sensitive but but here's the thing i think we've learned on the timing deal too is to say hey is this a good right is this a good time right now do you have do you have a minute that we could talk about something i think that's you know it's mm-hmm. common courtesy so many times now in our culture you just say hey i need to talk. you just say hey you start talking you say hey i need to talk to you and you say this instead of asking cuz really there's sometimes i'll say hey babe is it could we talk for just a second is this a good time and she'll go let me finish this first. And it's way more productive that she could finish what she was doing and us talk than to get mad like, why are you not listening to me when I'm trying mm-hmm. to talk? I'm trying to do this. Well, why did you, you know, like this. That's a, that's even more so on my side because I can't do two things at once like in conversation. Like how we have to pause the TV if we're going to exactly. talk more than one sentence. Exactly. Yeah. Or if I'm in the middle of typing something or writing, I'm very, I have a difficulty pausing on a project until mm-hmm. it's done and mentally to get into something else. So if, she's, if, if we, we have to even say, is this a good time? Hey, can I talk to you for just a second? And if I say, you know what, could you give me five minutes or can you give me 10 minutes or hey, 30 minutes more and I can really engage if that works. Now, if it's like an emergency, like, hey, you know, somebody was uh, hurt or there's something I need you to deal with right now, then that's different. But if it can have a timing, to talk about that is very key. It's common courtesy. Yeah, so what I hear you guys saying is that you developed a couple of tools that are actually actually permission giving. So, hey, is this a good time to land this conversation? You're asking for permission. And then you also talked about, is this something you want me to fix? Okay, can I have permission to fix it? Or is this something you just want me to engage and listen to? So. Um, sometimes, and especially knowing you, Pastor, once you have a model, you'll use the model. Uh, that's kind of the way that you work. How has even developing those tools been a little clunky for you, Jenny? You're a little more fluid as a person, mm-hmm. and or has it been clunky in trying to use some of the tools that you have before you? I think anytime to me, when you talk about adopting a new way of doing it, it feels very like... Like he said, like when you talk about stuff and then you implement it, you're like, oh, you're just, that's not even real. <laughs> you're not even being like sincere. Like you're faking or something. Yeah, like you're faking it or or I'll say, you're just doing that because you're preaching about it <laughs> or something like that. But it's not really like that. You just kind of have to get past the awkward part and realize it really does work. How do to you do, do that? that? So what? give us just a little uh, insight on a personal secret tool you're using to be able to navigate through using the tools. Well, I can either get past the awkwardness of using the tools or, and even calling them tools is like kind of awkward for me. <laughs> kind of annoying. Do you have another word? Because there's probably some no. people that are watching this that go, you have to call it a tool? No, I just think there's annoying words and you just have to get past it. And what do I want? Use the annoying word or us up, end up in an argument because I'm frustrated with how we're communicating. So okay. it's worth it to get over the irritating word. Okay, so there's another tool, uh, uh, the five love languages. Mm -hmm. You guys have read through that multiple Mm -hmm. times Mm -hmm. and and utilize that material. How how are you guys using that now in your relationship? Okay, so now about five love languages. Okay, very important stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, Let's see if we can get them together. Okay, so acts of service. Mm -hmm. Words of affirmation. Words of affirmation. Gifts. Gifts. Quality time. Mm -hmm. 
Physical touch. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are the five. And so mine, like how you can, you know, how I like to receive love is what? Physical touch. Yeah, shocker. Uh, words of affirmation. Yes, shocker. Yeah. So like, when, so like when she grabs your arm and then says... Why don't you and then when he breaks out in the sweat and then flex his muscles so hard as I go up and touch his arm. But you yeah. can like why, land it on both of Why don't of you those. just show them how, how to love me? <laughs> Hi, Scott. And she flex your muscle and break out in the but sweat. But say words of affirmation. You're so strong. You're so strong. See, that was very loving. I sense it. Now, mine wow. is... Or hers... <laughs> His quality time, you know, These like are the awkward tools I'm talking, talking about. Talk, <laughs> talking together and hanging out and acts of service. Like if I clean stuff up in the house or mm -hmm. do stuff like that. Especially if I didn't ask. Yeah, initiative's a big deal in our house. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, so those are some tools that you guys uh, use. It's not an exhaustive account of all the tools that are available. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean she doesn't like gifts either. And it doesn't mean that she doesn't right. like it when I say she looks pretty. It's just her two primary. The problem is on it, Mark, is most people love other people the way they want to be loved. So, like, my go-to for her is kind of like to come up and hug her and, you know, and, and to say, you look hot. And that may be nice to her, but it isn't really her love language. It's like I'm loving her the way I want to be loved. And then in the same way as she may say, I made you dinner, and I'm going, well, thank you. That was very nice, you know, or, mm -hmm. or I cleaned up the room or I bought you some new shoes and that's very nice, but really, you know, feel my arm and tell me I'm strong. Yes. But there'll probably if be there'll probably be that. some people that are doing that after this video. Okay, so land it for us, give us a minute of, of how to close this out, and then I wanna have uh, Jenny pray for us. Okay. I think the love languages is a pretty big deal to mm -hmm. take the assessment. If you haven't done that, it would be good to do that. I think it's on the screen that you can go there and figure out what are your love languages, what is her love languages, like that, because I think that's a big deal. I think as, again, we've said every time, communicate, talk to each other. So text each other, email each other, do, mm -hmm. do all that. You know, that's so important, even on, hey, it bothers me when you do this, you know, or you're, hey, here's another thing. You, this is genius. You can't talk and listen at the same time. Hmm, genius. So yeah. you have to to listen. You, do you get that? Talk and listen at the same time. So it's a big deal. So I hope that I I think that's good. Taking the test. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Good. Okay. And I think learning just to value people for what speaks to them and what's meaningful to them, not what's meaningful to you, because it doesn't come natural to you. I don't think. I mean, to anybody. I'm saying. Awesome. Pray for us before we go into our discussion time. God, thank you so much again for another time to talk about our differences. But God, to not only talk about that there are differences, but help us to learn to value the differences in each other yes. and to create ways to show each other respect and value through loving each other just the way that we need to be loved. We love you and we thank you. Amen. Amen.